What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I welcome you back to another YouTube video. And we are starting off Tag Team GX with a pretty fun rogue list that has generated a little bit of hype on Twitter and uh, is a deck that is 100% a force to be reckoned with. It is Tor Drop. It is the. Is it Honich? Dewblade, sorry. Dewblade Tool Drop deck. So if you don't know what this does, it's basically a DCE and it does 30 damage for every tool card attached to all your Pokemon in play. So we get to use things like Genesect and stuff like that. Um, now, of course, let's get into a game first and then I'll show you the list afterwards. Uh, but this list itself has seen some discussion on Twitter, as I said. Um, ADV Jim actually posted uh, online his own list and then he's, he's, he's adjusted my list, uh, sorry, his list, sorry, with my Oranguru inclusion and uh, another individual's inclusion as well. And I've taken a look at that and we basically we've all been going left and right looking at this list and going, okay, what can we include? And um, there's been a lot of suggestions online on what you could include in this deck. Um, some cards I simply don't own yet, unfortunately. So Erica's Hospitality is a card I don't own, and I would pretty much put it in any deck right now. It is hands down one of the best draw supporters we have. Um, so I would love to get some Power Erica's off. Hospitalities. Power off. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that would be fun. But for now, we're playing the list that we can make. I've tried a few times with this list to see if I can get any luck. And it is a bit of a on and off deck so far, um, in that it's not too easy to get going. Um... But sometimes it can, you know, sometimes you can just blow up. I, I managed to do 210 damage turn two with this deck before. Um, and I was like, whoa, okay, that was fire. <laughs> um, initially I played, which would have been handy in this this matchup. I actually played Sky Pillar just to help counter Decidueye in this deck. Um, because of its low HP, but I replaced it for some Energy Lottos because I thought that'd be a bit better. Um, right, let's start setting up. So we're actually playing the Psychic type um, Honage or on it. I don't know how it's pronounced. This was from ADV Jim. He actually suggested that... Um, because of its ability, it's better off playing that than the metal. And then you play one metal in case you come up against a uh, Chimeco to help you be able to set up. Um, right. I'm thinking here. A skateboard would be kind of bad on the active on Aranguru, but I really would like to thin this hand down. So what I'm going to do is get a Genesect in play um, just so I can double attach tool cards right now. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, and we can just play this adventure bag and I guess we could just get a escape rope no sorry sorry escape rope just get one escape board so we can throw one on the oranguru and one on the genesect here just to thin our hand down a lot there we go so we already have a ton of tools in play which is great but we need um just a few more uh, a few more things uh, cynthia fantastic okay i'm gonna be risky and attach the dce here so we are looking at a very very high potential turn two here this is looking absolutely mad uh, now you're probably wondering why we're playing lightning energy this was uh something that was uh not my idea at all i just thought it was a really good way to deal with the awkward dce attachments and only needing a um sorry and needing a dce which is not too easy to fish for um we actually use topic coco prism to be able to accelerate some energy um, so that there may be turns where we do need a single energy attachment, we can do that. Or let's say if we have one lightning energy on one of them, we just need a top of Coco Prism and an energy in the discard pile to be able to attack with that later on. So it's a bit beneficial. Um, but I'm going to be using this lightning energy to retreat. Um, or we could Lele, but do we play Lele? Yeah, we could Lele and grab a Guzma and just whack it into either this Decidu uh, this Mimikyu, which by the way is pretty good with Decidueye. And... All this is and or no all this is That's what I that's what I want to say. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just find out. So it looks like they're gonna grab nine tails and start spreading. So maybe taking out nine tails would be ideal as well. Um, how much damage are you doing? Three, six, nine, twelve, and then fifteen with that, and then eighteen with that, and we get a Jirachi or something on the bench and throw in a skateboard on that. We can one hit KO a. Um, I think we can. I don't know, because they are resistant to steel, right? Oh, they're weak to steel. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're good. <laughs> I was thinking of... Um, what's resistant to Jolteon? Jolteon's resistant to steel. I played a game of Jolteon, and that's that. Um, but yeah, so we should be able to take this out. I am feeling absolutely knackered um, right now. My life has just gone from this to this in busyness. It's just been incredibly busy recently. Uh, with just sorting out a lot of stuff for myself, my brother, uh, spending time with family, and... Just kind of sorting my life out, and it's it's been feeling fantastic. I've been feeling really great recently by um, just taking initiative to sort my life out, and it's just working out really well. And I'm feeling a lot better. So um, I'm knackered now because today was the first day back at the gym for me, um, 
Oh, wow, this doesn't stop. Oh, no, the metal goggle stops the snipe, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so it was the... Oh, they tried doing this. <laughs> See, that's not an ability. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, I need to think about what I'm attaching here because I want to play an Ultra Ball um, and then Cynthia. So I want to Ultra Ball. We're going to have to Ultra Ball some tools away, which is bad. Um, we are going to retreat this Oranguru, like, hands down. Uh, I guess we have to Ultra Ball away the Escape Board and the Choice Band here and just get... I need to get a, uh, a Dew Blade out. Is it Dew Blade? Dew Blade? I'm not too sure. The blade, <laughs> um, and let's get a choice ban on this, and we should, well, we, we do not, we should have a KO, we do have a KO, um, so that's great news, so let's get that down, oh, we got another one, sweet, okay, this deck is uh, on fire currently, which is great, this is the on, <laughs> rather than the off, uh, oh, we got the Cocos to work with, we got Jirachi, I'd rather venture Jirachi right now, and just double attachment to Frying Pan here, we're gonna go aggressive, we're gonna be like, ham, um, I am fine with that. Tool drop, how much damage are we doing? <sighs> Was that turn two? Did we just hit 480 damage turn two? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Which means non-weakness, 240 damage on turn two. Whoa, that's insane. This deck is mad. It is crazy. Biggest problem, though, is it's low HP, so it's very easy to get KO'd, but... Whoa. Just, wow, okay. Um, that aside, uh, let me, yeah, let me carry on speaking. Uh, so I started the gym today and uh, I am aching all over. And it's, I've not even got to sleep yet. Usually I go gym, I'm fine when I get home um, and then I wake up in the morning and I am in pain. But like, I'm in pain already. Like, I just went, oh, went mad. Also discovered a small injury on my arm, which I need to go look at. So that's one thing I need to do. Um, but yeah, life's just been incredibly busy, um, which is why I've been, there's been days where I haven't been able to upload because just things have, oh, things have been insane. Um, I just never actually found the time to do it. Uh, but don't worry. I think all is fine right now. I've pretty much set myself in a nice comfy routine. Um, and uh, pretty good. Got myself a little diary, writing down the stuff I need to do during the day and stuff like that. And it's, it's working out very well. So things should be a bit back to normal now with the daily uploads during the weekdays. Um, streams, I'm still contemplating Twitch or YouTube. I did do a YouTube um, stream yesterday which uh wow if you haven't watched that go go click go watch that video and go to the end i think it's like a one hour 50 53 minutes or the one hour 50th minute mark or something like that i got an insane level of pack luck okay i would just give you a uh, pretty much a hint we opened six packs and we got five pulls and they are awesome pulls <laughs> so i'm just gonna throw that out there for you um right we are gonna escape we could, we could, we, do you know what? I'm going to go with the safe play here. And um, we're going to take Eliza to switch, which is, by the way, why I'm playing Tate and Eliza, just to accommodate for retreat. There we go. We're going to use Tate and Eliza like that. That's, uh, we're just, we're just going to go full greed here. Just take this thing out. Again, is it the same amount of damage? 480, right? Weak to steal. Oh, are they not even weak? Oh, well, we're still hitting 240. We're one shot in these decidualized. So we are uh, in, in a very, 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 very good spot. We don't even need Shrine of Punishment in this deck. It's just too powerful. <laughs> uh, well, we wouldn't want to play it with Genesec. So I am talking way too uh, way too ahead of myself there. Um, I did lose train of thought as to what I was saying before. Oh, yes. I got an incredible pack luck there. And even just a second ago, I bought two packs and then got myself like a, a Celebi Venusaur tag team out of it. And I was like, okay, sure. So in total, from yesterday to today, I've opened eight packs and I've gotten six pulls. Um, my luck has been absolutely fire recently. Um, and it's the best luck I've ever had in the game. So if you want to see it and you want to see my reaction to it, because it was live, um, you can check it out there. And you just, I actually left a comment in the video saying, click here if you, to go to the, to the packs. So you can just click and go. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that was, that was something. That, that was something. That, that was something. <laughs> I'm kind of like in awe right now, just remembering it. Oh my God, that was insane. Uh, right, I think this is game. <laughs> I genuinely think this is just game. <laughs> like, they have to end turn, right? Oh, gosh. I feel sorry for this guy. I feel absolutely sorry for this guy. Right, let's... Let's go and uh, let's just finish it off. Let's just go in. Smack. We have a full board. Jesus, this, this is pretty much our max damage. What can we do max? Our max damage is 270, which is... Uh, whoa, okay. That's kind of mad. All right. Let's go in another one. <laughs> That was insane. 
we pretty much ended it three turns and we were up against a Decidueye deck. We were able to literally one shot a stage two full HP GX Pokemon with a stage one Dewblade. That is the potential of this deck list. It is wow. It is just it is just absolutely wow. That's how, that's how I'm gonna describe it. Um, let's go to another game and see uh, where it goes from here. Um, wonder what we're up against. Hmm. I wonder what we are up against. I didn't check the deck box, so that was uh, kind of my bad there. Um, but yeah, um, well, start of the week. I hope. You're all having a great start so far. I know Monday's not the best days, really, but you just got to keep on trooping. I think we'll be all right. Um, at least enjoy yourself for either this evening, whenever you're watching it. But I do hope you are having a good week, uh, whoever is watching. Um, but let's get into this and uh, see what we can do. Okay, that's a mulligan, so that's fine. So we have added Pokecom. I think Pokecom is pretty cool. Um, you know, if we needed a Lele and we had a Dewblade, we can just use it to grab Lele. Um, and... I think this Pokemon, this deck plays a healthy amount of Pokemon cards. So Pokemon cards, Pokemon, they are all Pokemon cards. So searching for uh, using Pokemon was never really an issue, although now definitely, unless we top deck a. If we top deck a, any Pokemon, we can use this to grab Lele. So that's that's the benefit right now. Um, it depends on our top deck. Lost March. So I guess we don't really need to focus too much. And in fact, this this Honage can help out a lot. <laughs> it really can. Um, so we're going to be avoiding the benchings of our Genesects for the sake of Shrine and the big prizes. Um, we don't really need that much tall cards in play to be able to do, uh, to, to KO things. So we don't need to bench our Genesects to increase our damage output. So that's fine. So we just have to avoid the GXs this turn unless I find a route to Lele here because Lele is kind of really critical because this deck can definitely get to 50 HP on turn two very easily. So we need a Pokemon down now. And if not, then that is literally the deck represented for you right there. That's pretty much on and off, right? We have the fire game before, and then now we have the potential to have a game that is just dead. Um, which probably means my deck is inconsistent, which probably means it needs more work. Or the deck in itself is uh, a bit on and off with its uh, routines. Although we could, we really could play Lecture in here. I mean, there shouldn't be any harm in that. Especially if we are playing the likes of Lele. If we are playing Tapu Lele, we can Lecture. Um, now, ADV... ADV Gym? Is it? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to think to myself, if I actually play Lele, I don't think I do. So I might have just been talking, talking out my, uh, talking out my mouth a bit too much. Um, he plays four Jirachi in this list, and I completely agree with that. Um, I just wanted to get this deck out right away. Um, I wasn't able to get any more Jirachis. I've only got one, so I've only able to play one, unfortunately. Oh, Marshadow, yikes. Um, okay, that's a bit of a bad hand, because we could have to, like, ditch these Rescue Stretchers. Uh, Oranguru takes top priority here. Um, we're gonna have to ditch these rescue stretch, which just feels horrible because this this deck. Oh, that is such a bad. Oh, that is just painful. Okay, uh, we're gonna get Jirachi down. Um, yeah, I only have one Jirachi, so I can only play one. But I'd recommend going with the four Jirachi. Um, its consistency level is insane, and you get to use a skateboard very com uh, consistently with it. So I mean, why not? Um, let's just get the DCE in play now. Oh no, I think that's a bit of a misplay. I think they're gonna KO me next turn. So let's not do that. No, let's not do that. That was a misplay on my part, so. Um, okay, uh, in that sense, I think we can go for the... No, let's not attach now. Let's just throw a lightning here, so at least we have a better route to attack next turn. Not benching the second Honage hit there was kind of kind of upsetting, because uh, we are not going to be able to stream and attack once they KO this thing, which they are going to do, so that's kind of scary. Um... What's their lost zone like? Yeah, they're definitely KOing this. Uh, so we just need to Jirachi and hope. So that's kind of upsetting. Um, I guess that's the that's the, the problem of going second, right? Is you don't really you don't really get the setup turn. Uh, so they get they get the first the first the first they get the first they get the first crucial knockout here, which is quite the shame. Um, maybe playing Lele in this deck for the time being might be an idea. Oh wow, they're going for the Jirachi. Okay, that's actually quite fair. Um, Jirachi is a, a definitely a high priority target. Now, the best way to kind of counter Jirachi is Muck or Absol. This new Absol basically increases the retreat cost, and that almost counters Jirachi fully. <laughs> um, I don't want to play the Genesect, but I might have to. No, I don't. That's fine. We can hit 60 damage. Let's not be greedy. Let's not be greedy. Let's just hit a Lightning Energy, please. 
That's good. Okay, that's that's actually pretty decent. I like that. Let's get ourselves a... Oh, my God. We've prized two. We've prized two Honages. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's that's just awful. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. All right, tall drop. There we go. Just a nice, simple KO. They're going to be KOing us. We need to, like, give me, give me, give me Honage. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Pricing two Honages is, uh... Am I pronouncing it? Am I saying, is it Honage? Is it Honage? Is it... Ownage, ownage, ownage. <laughs> yeah, um, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan of prizing two of those bad boys. But uh, fingers crossed we can we can pull through on this one. Uh, unfortunately, no massive turn two, like 240 damage or 480 with weakness. But no turn two, 240 damage in this deck right now, unfortunately. But uh, still able to get a nice KO. To be fair, we could have done it if we benched the Genesect and throwed those two. Um, choice bands, we could have, yeah, we could have hit some mad damage again. But, uh, hey, that's the, that's just the case. It comes, a jump up. Yeah, Pokecom's very good in this, uh, in, in Lost March. 100%. Because there's so much Pokemon you get, and you play, I think my Lost March deck plays like 26 Pokemon or 24 Pokemon, something like that. Insane amount. Um, primarily for Lost Blender. But, uh, being able to search out your Lele's like that is kind of cool. Though that could be quite detrimental for them in the late game, if we do manage to hold on. Um, because they are dropping a GX with their own Shrine of Punishment in play. Like, that's... That's, uh... That's concerning. <laughs> for, uh, for them, at the very least. But they are just... Yeah, they are... They're, they're just on fire right now. Which is uh, not the best, unfortunately. <laughs> but hey, this is where we are. Okay, so 100 damage. Uh, they're pretty much one hit KOing us every single time. This is the biggest flaw with this deck. Oh, I got another text message. Um, and then we dropped all, all our uh, escape balls at the start, which you're, you're now understanding or now seeing is uh, not good. Um, oh, this is bad. I think we just lose. I genuinely think we just lose. Yep. We have to quit this one, unfortunately. Prizing two on it. That is like, ah, oh, that's a yikes. That is a yikes and a half right there. Okay, let's go for a, let's go for another game. We'll go for one more game and uh, see, see where it goes from there. Fingers crossed, we do not prize two Honages, or hon am, I, am I pronouncing that right? I'm not too sure. Is it Honage? Honage sounds better. Honage sounds more right. I could be wrong. Don't know. <laughs> uh, what deck are we up against here? Oh, I saw a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of stuff there. I saw Dark, I saw Water, and I saw Psychic. If we're up against Latios, Latios, that would be fun. I would love to play a tag team deck right now. That'd be fun. Speaking of, I do have some tag team decks in the making as well. And I have one insane idea. I'm not going to say it yet because this idea is crazy, but it's going to take a lot to do. So um, I've got an idea. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I've got a pretty cool idea. It's pretty unique um, and it has the potential to be powerful. So I will work on that for the time being. And when that deck is up, I will, uh, I'll make it very vocal. This is what I like about Genesect. You can put a double escape board on it and just get free retreat. That's, that's sick. <laughs> it's like bang, bang, free retreat. Okay, sweet. Um, all right. Well, we don't get to play the escape board. Uh, sorry, we don't get to play the Pokecom here now. So uh, that's just that. I'd love to be able to do that now. But hey, here we are. Okay, this is good. This is actually... Uh, wow. This is... Okay. <laughs> sure, we could go for the switch play right now. Actually, we'll do that. I know we can retreat, but I want to thin my hand down. Um, and we'll throw the Coco down and try and get some lightning energy in a discard pile to use Coco. So that's what we'll do. Um... I kind of don't mind ultra balling here, but I'll save that till next turn. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, we don't have, so that way we don't have to rely on the Pokecom. Um, yeah, I kind of like the idea of ultra balling so we can get ourselves a thingy, my Bob. What was that? A psychic? Oh, water. Okay, so playing Glaceon. All right, all right. Oh no! Oh no! That just shuts down our Genesect. God damn it! <laughs> okay. Luckily, they are weak to steel, so uh, although they're shutting down our Genesect and removing our damage by thirty, we are double on damage so we are fine okay so this is a i was hoping it was a latius deck because it had psychic in there but it's like it was probably lele this looks like a um good old fashioned glaceon greninja gx so that's that's what it's looking like right now speaking of that new greninja gx looks pretty cool if you haven't seen it i believe it does ah oh, i forgot it does but i remember it saying it looked pretty cool is it like 130 for two energy or something this evolution uh, I think if you had like zero cards in your hand, you hit like 130 or something, or you accelerate energy and then you, had, you draw until you have three or something like that. I could be so wrong. 
But uh, I knew it was something down that line, but I was looking at it going, hmm, that's kind of dope. Uh, anyway. Oh, Zorak. Okay, that's... So it's a Zorak, Glaceon... Okay, I, I get it. I think there's a bit too many components. Um, for a Greninja deck, but hey. Okay. Uh, oh, that is just such a tough decision. Okay, I'm going to have to discard Rescue Stretcher. I know that really hurt us last time, but we need uh, stuff in play, like now. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's just evolve the active and throw a Choice Band on it. So that way we're doing 180 on the Glaceon just on its own. Uh, as it currently stands, we do need a DCE. We just need a draw supporter. Cynthia would be really dope here. Uh, and we, we do whiff on that. But at least we get the DCE. So we can smack into this for some, some juicy damage. They are going to be taking us out though, which is kind of a shame. Maybe in this game we prioritize rather attaching the choice bands to the actives. Uh, attaching the metal frying pans. That seems like it would be the, 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 the goal. Uh so that they don't get the one hit KO on us pretty much every time with a frost bullet. So I think that'd be the best thing to do personally. Um rather than attaching choice band to the active. Yeah, just looking at it now, that's like the be, be the best decision. Uh speaking of, we really need something um uh, next turn if they don't have the DCE. Now did they try and uh, did they try and do an energy evolution and fail? I mean Ah, okay. About to say. They discarded their um, Glaceon. Right, so I'm assuming that means they don't get an attack this turn. Yes, that is actually critical. That is uh, that is really good. Okay. We have to thin, so uh, that's kind of cool. I'll rather grab that now. And we'll just have to Oranguru. Or we could do a Guzma play. Um, but taking out this one seems just too good right now. Because, we, I mean, we might as well why it's here, right? Um, I was thinking we could Coco Retreat and attack into something. Uh, we could attack that before it gets to a, a ridiculously high HP, but I think, I think we just, just do this for now and just take out, we just take the two prizes while we can rather than trying to be all, all tricky about it. Uh, oh, I don't mind that. I don't mind ultra balling right now actually and getting myself a, another Dublade. We could get Jirachi out, but we still have a Ranguru here just um, getting us out of these sticky situations. So I don't mind just doing this for now. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, can top a Coco if we really want to next turn. So that's pretty good. So let's just take that out for the time being. That's cool. Um, and get two prizes here. So let's see what we get. Hopefully it's playable cards or thinnable cards. That's good. That's good. There we go. Thinnable cards. Great stuff. Um, which means we can maximize our uh, draws from our Ranguru, which is sweet stuff. They are going to be carrying this Dewblade, but I mean, it's already got 20 damage on it. I think it would have been better for them to put 20 damage on the Genesect, personally, because they are one-shotting one this anyway, unless we put the uh, Metal Frying Pan, which probably is what they're thinking. They're probably going, okay, let's just make sure that they don't throw. But then at the same time, I had the Field Blower attached before they put the 20 damage on, so I'm assuming they just wanted to work this thing down. But uh, putting the 20 damage on the Genesect would have been better, in, uh, in my humble opinion. Okay. So, what are they going to throw down? Probably a Ditto... And like a Froakie or something? Ah. Right. See, this is kind of uh, counter to his strategy. Now, I understand Zorak's great for getting the draw, which I guess makes sense. But, um, if you bench the Froakie and a Ditto, if you don't really need the draw, you can choose to evolve into more uh, Froakadiers and stuff. And just do a lot more Snipe, which is just a lot more damage, right? Which is what this deck wants to do. So I think it would have been better to drop the Froakie in the Ditto, and at least you can still evolve the Ditto into a Zorark, right? Rather than guaranteeing that you have to have a Zorark in play. Okay, good stuff. Uh, throw that here, throw that there, throw that on the Ranguru, not the Coco, because the Coco's going to go soon. Um, and go for this play. Lily, oh, like that. Okay, let's let's uh, let's rescue stretch now and get these two. I think we'll be fine with just these two back in. Are we going to play nice Lily? We could a Ranguru, but let's be real. We want we just want tool cards and a one shot. That's what we want. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, oh, numbers, 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 numbers. We're one-shotting. We're definitely one-shotting. So I was thinking, do we attach choice band to the active or not? But no, no, we are. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. And let's throw a choice band on this one. I still want to be using... We could Coco now and just get one energy onto... I don't mind that. I don't mind using Coco now and just getting the energy onto this bench tonnage. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just throw it on to... Oh, I don't know which one it was. I'm assuming it's this one. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Um, ah, one hit KO thanks to weakness. 
Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Um, all right. So what are we getting off these two prizes? Uh, lightning. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Lightning's actually pretty good. And we got ourselves a venture bag. And if they don't promote a glacier, we can utilize uh, Genesect a bit more. So I think we've got another win on the board here, thankfully. Um, so we managed to take down the Sidui, a Zorok deck, um, and we did lose to Lost March, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, but that was primarily because of bad setup. So if this deck sets up, it is uh, pretty damn dangerous. Very dangerous. Very similar to Lost March in its nature, where it's like a low HP Pokemon that uses a singular energy to do ma like massive damage. Um, but the difference between this and Lost March is a lot easier to get the damage out quicker. Because it's just tool cards, right? And you have Adventure Bag as well to work with, which is uh, really fun. So... Uh, I would heavily, heavily recommend trying this deck out. You don't really have to go for the to uh, Coco Prism route. You can just do counter energies, but the odds of you falling behind in this deck are very unlikely. <laughs> like, you're probably going to be taking the massive uh, KO at the start um, if you played this right. That's kind of my thought process. So, they have to get a Zorark out. Uh, if not, we can just Guzma here and pretty much go for game, right? If I'm thinking, we have enough to do it. Um... I attach an energy to the Zoranguru. Uh, we adventure bag and we get two. So that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we win. I believe we win with just this adventure bag and a Guzman play. So we can do that. I guess we just go, go grab this. Go grab this. I didn't even need to attach the Zoranguru. We can do the free retreat on the Genesect. Because why not? Let's get the Lele and let's go for it and just absolutely annihilate. <laughs> um, there we go. Free retreat on a Genesect feels so weird. But uh, this is this is the world we're in now. This is the Pokemon game that we are playing. <sighs> wow. Incredible numbers. Single energy attachment. Easy to get going. This deck is formidable. And uh, it should see success somehow in a tournament. If someone is willing to put pick this up, I mean, come on. It is really good. I'm going to Primal Groudon. Hey, which I'm never going to play because I don't have... Is it Poke Beach? Is that what it is? Tropical Beach? Is that it? I think that's a really expensive card, so I don't think I'll have to be playing Primal Groudon. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, right, let's show you the list. This is the current list I have. And, oh boy, this deck is powerful. Um, and it can still use improvement. I mean, this list can still be improved. I would definitely go for more Jirachi. Maybe reduce the Pokecoms. We didn't really see much of it. So... Yeah, this, definitely could, this deck could definitely use more Jirachis. I really like the shout from uh, ADV Jim here. Uh, suggesting this type of onage, which we didn't get to see in action, but again, it's just like you don't really want to be using that ability, it's just you know, last stitch type of thing. Um, so with that said, this is pretty cool, it's actually pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the I was gonna say in the description, in the comment section down below, and of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy it. And but other than that, I will leave you to it, um, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care until then, peace.